So in this video, I'm going to show you how to lower your inner main terrain so you get rid of the Z fighting and then you have a nice tight seam between your terrain and your meshes around the outside of your course. So let's show you what this looks like. Uh, so inside of Unity here, uh, I, you can see that my meshes and my terrain, my meshes are at zero. So I've got my Z fighting going on here. I have my foliage terrain, which is hidden, so we can't see it. I could turn it on, but essentially we just have two terrains, you know, my inner and my foliage, which are exactly the same now, right? Remember, before we make any changes to a terrain, we always want to back it up, right? Same thing here. We want a copy of our unlowered inner terrain because if we need to make changes to it, and we need to restore it to make those changes. More on that in a little bit. So let's come up here to enter. And remember, we've got this uh, train backup. We're gonna create train backup. I've got my enter highlighted, so that came up. And I'm gonna call this in big capital letters, unlowered. So I'm gonna be able to see that very easily. And then I'm just gonna create my backup. I'm gonna pause while that's happening. So my, so my backup is complete, and I can verify that if I go back here to restore train backup, and you can see the most recent one, which is 626 today at 8.30 in the morning, is I can see that it says unlowered right here. So I've got it. I'm all set. Now I'm going to go ahead and lower this terrain. And what it's going to do is it's going to look for any meshes that you have um, with certain names in them, and then it's going to automatically lower the terrain underneath them. So we can just watch this happen. So let's go up to tools. Let me see, where was that tree? Yes, here we go. Under GSP, lower terrain under meshes. I'm gonna click that. And I'll get a pop-up window here. And it's gonna ask me what terrain I would like to lower. And I'm gonna drag in my inner. And I can keep these the default. This is just saying I'm going to lower my terrain one meter underneath. And then my indentation influences the gap where my inner and my mesh meet. I'm just going to leave that at 0.6. I've never had to change that. Um, just read the stuff down at the bottom here. Note the operation takes a few minutes. Um, and always remember before you do this, make sure you back up first. Extremely important. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this, lower all splines, and I'm going to pause after I do this, and then uh, when it is complete, we'll have a message down here in the lower left. All right, you can see the message down here that says terrain lowered. Let me close this dialog box, and if I come in here, you can see, yeah, this is looking much better. I don't have any more Z fighting. If I come out here to the edge, you can see there's a nice tight seam here where my terrain, um, my inner, which is out here, and my meshes, there's now no like gap there that a ball can roll under. And let me just show you, in theory, what's happening here. So if I turn off my OPCD meshes, you can now see that my terrain was essentially lowered right at this seam a meter. So now that my meshes sit a meter above that. So now I don't have any Z fighting. But at the same time, if I come over here to my foliage, and if I were to turn this back on so I can see it, you can see that my foliage layer is still up in the air. And if I plant on it, it's going to be even with my meshes. Because look, if I turn my meshes on, I've got Z fighting with the foliage terrain but we don't want that z fighting so we're going to turn foliage terrain draw off we're going to turn our meshes back on so everything looks nice and cool right now remember we do not want to make changes on a lowered terrain so that means if for some reason i would have to dig here Okay, and make changes. And, and I were to dig on this inner terrain and raise this up or lower it down, keep in mind I am making changes to my inner and I am not drawing on my inner. I am trying to draw my trees on my foliage. So anything I do to enter 
is not going to impact my foliage and I'm going to get some weird things. Even though I can see a terrain change here, I'm still going to be drawing on my, my foliage and we're going to still draw on a foliage layer which no longer matches my inner. So we always want to make sure that before we make any dig changes on here, we want to go to terrain backup, restore terrain backup. Oh, I got to make sure that my inner is highlighted and I would restore this unlowered terrain. Then after I did that, I would make my terrain changes. Then I'm going to create a duplicate of my inner, just like I did before. Edit, duplicate. And whatever that duplicate is, I can delete my old foliage. And I'm going to rename it foliage, and I'm going to apply it to my foliage terrain. We have to make sure that we do that every time. So for the most part, you really want to have all of your terrain changes done as much as possible before you start drawing your trees.